Hi, welcome to day nine of our Lent devotional. My name is Kelly Jose, and today we are going to be looking at Psalm 139, verses one and two. The guiding question for the Lent devotional in this season is just asking what the next brave and right thing is for us to do. Um, in the leading of the Holy Spirit, how the Holy Spirit's leading us. And so in this time, I just want to offer you the opportunity to slow down, to let go of the demands of your day, so that you can just be present with your Heavenly Father and what He has for you today. And as we enter this space, I would just like to ask that you pray this short prayer with me so we can focus our gaze on Him. I am known, I am chosen, I am loved. Psalm 139 verses 1 and 2 says, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. What an invitation we have from Jesus to get to be with the one who made us and who loves us and who is so holy. It's overwhelming. And there's this offer from the enemy to hide. The juxtaposition of our brokenness to his holiness is staggering. It's what sent Adam and Eve into hiding and the prodigal son to claim himself as a slave instead of a son. But God sees us even in our hiding and he chooses us and he loves us. And Christ gave his life that we would be restored to a place of relationship with him. That we would identify ourselves not by our brokenness, but by our position in him what he has done for us and in us, if we receive it, supersedes any other claim on our lives. Without Christ, we have every reason to anticipate and experience shame and fear and condemnation in his presence. But Ephesians 1.4 says, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. So through Christ, in that same presence, we are offered peace and hope and joy and freedom and new life and him he offers himself to us we are invited into transparent and authentic relationship with the one who knows us even better than we know ourselves and there's an even greater invitation here he invites us to search him and know him to know when he sits and when he rises and to perceive his thoughts from afar it's how Jesus lived his life, as one who operated from the truest knowledge that he was deeply loved and delighted in. He did only what he saw the Father doing. And we are called to that same high calling, to live as Jesus lived by the power of his Holy Spirit. He has made a way for each of us. So in this space, I just want to offer you that same invitation to be laid bare before your Father if there are things you need to repent of that you've been trying to hide from him or strive to fix yourself, that you would offer those things to him, that you would humbly ask for forgiveness and restoration in those places. And though you rightly anticipate the discomfort of your rags next to his righteousness, that you would be overwhelmed instead by his celebration and love and gentleness and care and delight in you that you are chosen, that as he covers you in Christ, you are made new, and that through Christ, you have the incredible privilege of knowing him and choosing him and loving him all the days of your life. In these next couple of minutes, I just want to offer you space to receive that, that you would ask Holy Spirit what new levels of experience with and in him that he's offering you today. And that you wouldn't just check the box of doing a Lent devotional today, but that you would receive all that he has to offer you here as you wait on him, known, chosen, and loved.
So Father God, we just come before you. Lord, we thank you for the reminder that you see us. Lord, even um, as we look back at, in Genesis at Adam and even the garden, you're, one of the first questions you ask is, where are you? And it's not because you don't know. And so Lord, I just ask that for each one of us that we would just be mindful of that question of where are we? And how can we just consistently turn to you and come to you and be with you? to receive the forgiveness that we need, Father God, to receive your love and your care and your mercy and your grace and your encouragement to help us to boldly step into and bravely step into the things that you call us to, to advance your kingdom each day. Lord, I thank you for each one here. I thank you for this space and time to just be able to be with them and to give them just freedom and space to just look at your face and gaze in your eyes and to know and deeply understand more of who you've created them to be and who you are for each of us, Father God. We thank you for this day and just ask for your blessing on it. In Jesus' name.